2001 Golf TDI, uh, five speed. Someone put a time belt on it about 5,000 miles ago and the tensioner has failed. So we're gonna see if we can get away without putting a head on it. Oh, all right. Oh, this is a beauty right here, wow. What does that do? The PCV breather. Disintegrating. Was it to destroying the head or you don't know yet? I don't know yet. It sounds like it has compression, which is a good thing. So we'll know. What size you got? Five Allen, with a couple of wobble extensions. Yeah, what are you taking off? Taking the valve cover off first. How do you do a compression test on a diesel? Just pull the plug through, through the glow plug holes or the injectors. Same thing on a gas, just with spark plugs? Yeah. Can you do it on the injector too or? No. You want to just use a quarter five, a nice Vim quarter five. With a snap on wobble extension. A one inch and then maybe a six inch so you can get back here save you a little time ball socket five allen Good time to look at your lobes and your lifters. Usually when these things hit, you'll see the impact all the way through there. I don't see anything. Nothing? Not much, no. Good size. T30, we're just gonna loosen the bumper. T30 and loosen the bumper? No. They're interesting lug, uh, lug bolts. Yeah, they're solid. 225. T25. To hold the bumper normally, on? Or? No, for the headlight, normally there's four. Someone, something just fell. Let's see. Yeah, it's Tried to take this pipe out without taking the headlight out, and this is what they ended up with. So they probably had a boost leak on this thing. What makes you think a boost leak? The boost hose is not even clamped correctly. Oh, it's not clamped. Oh. Someone tried to sneak this out without taking the headlight out, which is possible. Yeah. It's just not oh, recommended. Oh, hose is not on. Reservoir. Power steering. Power steering. So Phillips here. Missing a Phillips over there. In the coolant reservoir? Yeah, not that uncommon to encounter at this age. <laughs> Lots of leaves. Lots of leaves. 13 for the engine mount support. Two of those. 
this looks like someone forced that one in. 16. 16 for the engine uh, mount. Uh -huh. Close. We could probably loosen up the fuel filter. Just give us a little bit of room. What size is that? 10? Two tens. Yep. Is there no wheel well on this? There was no wheel well on this, no. Is it missing or? Missing, yeah. Okay. Got a quick release here. You know what I've been seeing a lot of? What? I'll show you when you're done. I'll lock, I'll lock this from the top. Get the belt off for now. Take the belt off? Let's get it off for now. Pong bolts here. Oh yeah? Six ounce <coughs> stripped. <laughs> it looks like they're four different ones. They are. So two are stripped pretty good it looks like. And fucking balancer is cracked. That's not good. We have to order a balancer. Cracked right there. The left balancer or the left bolt hole. Great question. Man. Feels like we're right about top dead center anyway. Put a little air hammer on there. So we'll leave this last one in loose. Yeah. So we can check our timing mark. Leave it in loose so we can check our timing? Yeah. We gotta check our mark. We gotta line up the all right, yeah, we're lined up anyway. We're good. We're lined up for timing? Yeah, there you go. Right there. See that? Finger on it. See it? Yep, right there. It's a little notch. Yep, and there's a notch in the back? Yep, so we're good there. Okay, you can't see it. Maybe I can zoom in at some I'll point. I'll show you another spot you can check. Alright. You're moving? The third belt tensioner. Pop off the cover. Size? 10 millimeter. Pop the cover. Thing with these older engines. Oh shit. There's a piece of the tensioner. There's three little dots here. The dot above the bolt hole will line up right with that vertical casting like that. The dot above the bolt hole? Oh, the dot, oh, yeah, I see, see that a lot? There's two That's, dots. Yeah, the, that dot above the bolt The one the above the hole, hole. okay. Yeah. You're in top of that center, it's a quick okay. way to quick check. Gotcha. What are we jacking, the, the motor? Oil pan, yeah, we're gonna take the bracket out of the engine. Be careful with the oil pan. 18. Is that on the car? How many miles? 200, I think. Maybe. I could be wrong about that. All right, now we got a couple of 16s that got to come out. Up to the lower bracket. You know, rookie move is breaking this. So someone who's already been in here has broken this. That's kind of that's a bummer. Whatever. That guy right there, that notch. This guy. 
Yeah, this can it can be avoided. Right. It's just plastic, yeah. All right, so it's, tensioner has failed, so we can just take this belt right off of here. Do you have to lock anything or up top? Not yet. Not yet. Well, there's the belt. You can see where it's you know been getting killed, bouncing around. It does. 13. Usually it's a 15 though. I don't know why. Might be a third. I've been a long time since so I've done one of these. It's where the tensioner failed. It's right there. I don't know if this is an installation error or what. It's a quality tensioner. Factory manufacturer of it. I don't know. Maybe it, uh, it wasn't torqued to spec. Poss or, like, very possible, yeah. It wasn't, uh, like it could have loosened up because it wasn't in the zone, you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. And then it could have just sat there and rolled on it. And then could have been over tore. Could have been all kinds of stuff. Taking the vacuum pump off. Yep. Oh, because you got to check the heads. Well, I got to check the timing. Someone left one out, they only put one in. Whatever. Okay. Yeah, 313s hold it on. Oh shit, bottom one was already left loose, that's nice. It's not good. No. Somebody was really green or just not knowing. You never know, maybe it rattled loose. Judging from the other bolts, I'm assuming it's operator error. No sense. 313s, hold that on. 313s. A lot of sealing on there. The good or bad? Uh, I don't know. Whatever. All right, let's get that out of the way. So we're pretty close. This is probably why. Oh, it's pretty close to being timed? Centered. Special tool, 3418. All right, we're in. So it's centered on timing. Yep, quick way to tell if you're on the right stroke. Cylinder one in low, facing you. In the up direction. I usually leave these on. This is when I tension it, I like the Tool to be free. That way it's as, cent loose. as centered as it could fucking be. Okay. Awesome. Part number 3418. Made in Germany. From Volkswagen. There's the part number. You said keep it nice and loose and centered. I like to get kind of close with the mirror just so I know where I'm at. Okay. Lock Mark and center. Yeah, we're just lined with that line there. You just took the roller off? Yep, took that roller off. Does the kid have all new stuff? All new rollers. Can I pop the place the water pump? Yeah, yes I can. Little counter hold. Loosen this up. Why are you listening to that? So we can time it correctly. Gotcha. tap through the crack there. If you don't feel comfortable, they do make a puller tool for it. Yep. Um, this engine's getting old, and I don't know where that tool is anymore. Get that all loose for now. Thing. I never, this has a nut and a washer. I don't remember that ever being like that, but okay. The lower small roller. That guy we just replaced. It's the other roller. that other one turning? Not what? That other uh, gear, sprocket or whatever. Water pump. Water pump? So they don't want to report it. Because they already did it or? It, this is supposedly not that old. Supposedly like a couple hundred miles or thousands of miles old. Interesting. All right, the big boy on the bottom. Not 
logging that. Here you can see, same brand as what was on there. So obviously you have a part number. So there's a little notch right here. Do you see it? Oh, let me take this off. That little notch right there, that hole? Uh, yeah. Oh, I see it. The notch on that back side. It just goes in right there. Yeah, that little uh, tensioner slips into a notch right there. Alright, just barely on there. The bolts are all kind of close to the middle of the adjustment window. Let's see where we land with the belt. Any tricks with this one? No, well, this one's really easy. It's the easiest one of all. Yes, this is the compressor sound for you. Right. Keep that loose, just no rocking. Loosen those up. Get cleaned up. We gotta buff out the top. Let's get a little cleaned up while we're for a second here. Is this a gasket one or is it a... It's built into the cover. Built into the cover. And expensive. Here's upper. 20 Newtons upper? Yeah. Lower is 22. Small lower the one. Small lower. The big one is 40. The big one is 40. Plus a 90. Plus a 90. We'll get that 90 on it in a minute. I'll get that 90. That one had a 40 on it? A 40 plus, plus a 90. 127.17. Where's that mirror? I was a gambling man. I would say this is where you got messed up. Check it right here. That, see that line and that notch? Yep. They're gonna line up. 20 newts on the tensioner. Yeah. Size? 13. 13. All right, we're pretty on here, but we could be better. So we can dial that in. So we're checking timing at all three points? All four. All four. There's an access over here in the transmission. This is saying we're about an eighth of a tooth out. So I'm going to line that right back up correctly. Eighth of a tooth. A little notch to the right, is that where we're looking? Oh, I right see it. Right there, perfect. Good nuts. Let's find that on camera. Can you see the zero in the little two? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna... Right there is your... Oh, I just had it right there. There you go. Okay. Snug them up. 22 in the hub of the pump. Yep. Just get it to where you can work that in and out. Oh, so you work it back and forth just so you know where the... That's perfect. You want yeah. to be perfect. Do that. Yeah. If you're okay with just whatever close, you don't have to worry about it. Gotcha. It's a good decision.
Spec 25. Get that. Odds are we'll be loosening these again anyway when we set our injection pump final timing. Okay, 45 newton meters for this guy. Okay. If you didn't have that black pin, is there anything you could use that you could think of? Yeah, a punch. A what? A punch. A punch? So I know when I'm getting close. What, what is this doing? We're checking the timing. Oh, because you got to rotate it. Yeah, two times around. What size is that lower? 12.19. You're checking timing off the trans? Yep, check. That I think is the most accurate. Ah, that's probably not true. It's probably not the most accurate. The flywheel could have been changed. Yeah. So you check on the trans, you check over there. Check everywhere you can check. Anywhere yeah. that'll allow you. Nice. The lock fits. Part number VW3418. You can see the hole in the window, nice. Yep. Right there. Okay. Going back the other way. So we're pretty much dialed and we start putting it back together? Timing is good. Timing okay. Is good. And one of the lower brackets back on. Engine mount bracket. Two or three sixteenths? Three. The longest one goes right here. In the front? Yeah, the first one. Man. And the other ones are both the same? I don't know. I always leave the other one on the bottom. So it can mix it up. Either. Oh, so you don't pull it out? That makes well, no, sense. I just leave it down on the left arm or just down in that area. Gotcha. So I don't mix it. And two thirteens. And two thirteens for the small guy. Oops, don't worry about that little guy. Center them up on the holes. Yep. <clears throat> Tightening the two eighteens. Yeah, man, it's funny. It's not funny, but it's funny. Ten bucks. Good, I will give them that. It was probably the best bagel I've had in Florida. Where was it, on 4th Street? Somewhere in there. What are you putting in? I'm gonna switch these out for some T25s. That way he can at least have two and they match. T25 of, you know. to the reservoir? Yes. Oh, they're normally a Phillips, but one was missing. This gotcha. In your video. but it has a little cap on it. Yep. But the thing that goes on the cap is missing on this car. So it's just like everything else. Oh, we can't fit. Gotcha. What? Can we finish this whole thing tonight? No. Probably can't. We can start it. We'll definitely get it running. Well, yeah, the crank pulley smoked. 
That ain't going on. So what are we putting on down here? Uh, lower belt guard. Lower belt guard. Sells on with what, five? Five tens. Five tens? staying off until we do the timing adjustment on the injection plug. So we just put a new gasket on, what part was that called? Brake vacuum pump. On the brake vacuum pump? Yeah. Right there. Here's what is it? 20. 20 newts. You want to take off the bottom one you have to wing? I mean, you can get an, an adapter, a torque adapter. I might even have one. So you do um, an arm torque, 20 newton? Yeah. Okay. What are you putting on? This little bracket for the uh, vacuum hose. So we're missing 110 for there, too. Oh. Ten on? Yeah, one more. What vacuum line was that? That's for the EGR. EGR? I take that off so you can get the range of motion. Gotcha. Couple dabs of black silicone. What for in the corners? Yeah, just in the corners just to kind of help this old cover seal a little better. Oh, because this one's a built-in cover. Yeah. Gotcha. Not terrible. Okay. Ones on the back. Is your best down ones in the back? Yeah, the ones with the cleanest heads. Oh, just in case you strip them? Well, just so they can, you can not strip them. Gotcha. Cleanest sounds in the back. I mean, you can always tighten this with a vice grip or something if you had to, you know. Yeah, that makes sense. You're stripping out in the back, you're gonna be crying. Yeah, yeah. Normally you're supposed to take all this, this off, the EGR valve's supposed to come off. Just a heads up. Ten newts. Ten newts and all. We start from the inside out, middle out. Yep. <clears throat> Are we installing? Air pipe. Charge pipe or? Charge pipe, yeah. yeah. Let's get it on correctly this time. Oh yeah, because it wasn't. Line the line with the blue line. Oh yeah? Yeah. Okay. All right, get it on there nice and square. Line 
lines we're talking about is this notch into these lines. That'll give you center. Installing the bumper again. Oh, installing the headlight. Bringing back memories this year. Place trash anyway. <coughs> Everyone I know that has them. We have the money. He owns, a, uh, he owns his own shipping, like truck shipping business. He actually. I hate that he has that stupid Subaru. Because they fit, that's why. I don't know why they fit. I saw some guy recently, I should send you the video, who's putting newer uh, TDIs in them. What's the, what's the next step? This car's been sitting so long, the clutch master cylinder blew. You know, let's just start it. Yeah. Pull a picture. Yeah, I... I feel like you've seen them. See how many they made. See if you can find how many concepts. 250, really? That's quite a bit. They made 250. Never seen one. Yeah, they're in a showroom or in a... In the museum in Wolfsburg, probably. Like a garage. Definitely not anyone's garage. Where's Wolfsburg at in Germany? Um, I think it's in West Germany. Yeah. Oh. You're just ringing it up so you can start? Yeah. What pipe is this? It's a lower charge pipe, intercooler pipe. You're going to put it on loose because we still don't have a crank pulley for this thing. Gotcha. A little weird looking. We're not going to clamp this because we're just going to quick start it. I know, I was there. Yeah. 